very much, Jesus. Oh, you believe that there's a highway to heaven. Put those hands together. Bless the name of your God. If you believe there's a highway to heaven, put those hands together. And bless the name of Jesus. If you believe there's a highway to heaven, put those hands together. And give God a praise. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you because, God, you've been mindful of us. You brought us to this safe space again, and we want to tell you thank you. Thank you for how, God, you kept us all night long through danger, sin, and unsin. We thank you today, God, as we pause to break the heaven, to break the bread of life, that you would be still mindful of us, that you would give strength for the body, that you would give anointing and clarity of thought, that you would break up every yoke, that you would cause the clarion voice to ring out of this place, and God, after we've been here, that God, we would give the better have been here, that God, after we've been here, that God, we would have been the better for being in your presence. Thank you for the Holy Ghost power. Thank you for the strength in our strength. Thank you for the word that shall challenge and change. In the name of Jesus. And everybody that leads that prayer, put those hands together once again. And give God a praise. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We just talking. Yes, we just talking. We just talking. As I began to look at this Corinthian text, God began to deal with me, Brother Carter, about how the people of God are going through tests and going through trials. And I began to look at how, in my own life, there were some circumstances and some situations. Having grown up in a multicultural, multi-ethnic, and multi-religious background environment, I've heard the word transition most of my life. And depending on who you're talking to, it changes meaning according to the conversation. If I was talking to my father, the Reverend Dwayne Robert Redmond Mason, he would tell you being a funeral director and being a progenitor of the spiritual church and metaphysics, he would tell you that transition is merely a separation of the spirit and soul from the body. If I was talking to uh, Ludwig von ben, uh, ben Beethoven, he would tell you that transition is merely a, a modulation in a stanza of musical composition. If I was talking to my grandmama, grandmama would tell Jimmy Lee, go out there because I think something wrong with my transition. She did transition, but it depends on who you're talking to. But if I was to interview some of you, uh, transition would be the place where you're living right now. I know it's not 25, 25. I know it's not 36th Street. Uh, but the place you're living right now, sweet baby, uh, is the place called uh, transition. Webster defines transition as a movement, a passage from one position, one state, one subject, or one concept to another. Transition is the place of the unfamiliar. Transition is the place of the uncertain. Transition is the place where you can't recognize where you are. Ah, where are we, scholars, Bible scholars? Can I get me Bible scholars? Transition is the cave of Adullam. Transition is Absalom's house, Paris. Transition is Gethsemane tonight. I want somebody to know transition is I went to the doctor for just a pap smear and walked away with cervical cancer. Transition is the place where I... <coughs> Went to the doctor for a cough and they diagnosed me with HIV. Transition is the place where boo, I was just hanging out with the fellas. Well, now you in divorce court. Transition. Look over at your neighbor and tell your neighbor we are in a transition. Uh, transition, transition. Transition is the place where we are right now. So here I am. We find Brother Peter. I don't want to leave my text, but here we are. Brother Peter talks us to us today. It's the same Brother Peter that cussed, lied, and denied when he was confronted by the soldiers. It was the same Brother Peter who walked and saw Jesus feed the multitudes with a box lunch filled with two fish and five loaves. It was the same Peter that speaks to us today who looked and saw the darkest hour
hour of our Lord's life and denied him and said, I never knew the man. It's the same Peter that walked in transition. But before you pass judgment on, on brother Peter, I want you to know that when he was converted in Acts 2 and 14, it was the same Peter that preached the holy convocation and preached the official message. And on that day, the Bible said that 3,000 souls were added to the church. It was this same brother Peter that said with John, uh, John at the temple in the hour of prayer, he looked at a man and said, Silver and gold, had I none, but such as I have, give I be. And the man went from a look to a leap to praising God. Somebody say, we are in transition. Peter today writes to a people that comes from uh, knowing their God. Much like us here at the Vision Church. We've been put out of other places. We've been put out of other houses. We come from Big Mama's house. But here it is that now we know the people of God. He talks to us and says, yet though we're going through, there is a word for you. This is the people that have been called out of darkness into the marvelous light. And even though we've got issues and circumstances, We've got situations and problems. We are people that are walking around singing no more drama with Mary. But it seems to be that drama is our middle name. Somebody ask your neighbor why. I'm glad you asked. I can tell you. It's all because of the transition. He writes to us today with a sense of urgency. He says to us as we obtain his prophetic view that he has a news flash from God and leaves on record a pastoral announcement that says that though you suffer for a while. Can I just preach? Peter picks it up. Can you get that verse from him? And he said, when you have suffered a while, in other words, when you've gone through hell and high water, when it seems like friends have walked off from you and there's nothing 